this spot. Henry's Cafe. I've never actually been there before, but I saw it and I could just tell by looking that it was a good old-fashioned American breakfast joint. The only reason I even know about it, the only reason I've ever been to Oxnard before, is because a long time ago my dad's car broke down when he was passing through here. And I had to come out here and uh, get him a ride home. So, I mean, otherwise, I don't know if there's a lot to do in Oxnard. There might actually be. I know it's a popular city, I think. Well, I don't know about popular, but it's a very well-known city. Yeah, that, it was just by luck that I've ever been here before and that I knew about that place for breakfast. But I'm glad that I discovered it because it was freaking delicious. I had corned beef hash and eggs with hash browns and some coffee and they nailed everything. It was so good, so delicious. I'm not actually used to having such delicious breakfastesses. The last couple times I had corned beef hash, I've been pretty disappointed by it actually, so this place was a breath of fresh air in terms of corned beef hash. <clears throat> actually, what I think I discovered is that uh, corned beef, like actual, honest to goodness, authentic, old timey corned beef isn't what I thought it would be because I'm so used to the like restaurant style corned beef hash and eggs and I think that I like the the restaurant style better but that could just be because it's what I'm used to anyway thanks for a lovely breakfast Oxnard now I shall take my leave and head northward to Ventura and beyond to Santa Barbara where I will actually be meeting an old friend for lunch. Wow, it is trafficy here. Why? Nope. What the fuck are you doing? What a nice guy. Moving his whole huge truck for me. Okay, how do I follow the one? I think I need to get on the 101 North. This part of Route 1 shares the road with uh, Route 101, which is a freeway through here, so... Unfortunately, I won't be able to vlog for a while because I'll be battling the wind for noise supremacy. Ooh. That's my Minecraft move. It's the sound the cows make in Minecraft. They go, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I get it! There's no place like 127.0.0.1 It's a networking joke, that's the, the home address on a network, right? I think that's right. La Quantita! There was a huge landslide here a few years ago during a, a big rainstorm that we had. Actually, while I was still in college, oh, that was a long time ago. Probably nine years ago, I think. But there used to be a lot more mountain there than there is now because this town was actually buried by, you know, under mud. I think as deep as like 20 something feet and this whole highway was washed out. Basically the mountain came down into the ocean and it took a lot of this little town with it. And of course they cleared out the mud and rebuilt everything that was taken down. The humans are, are nothing if not persistent in their foolish endeavors. There's no chance that another landslide will happen in the same area, is there? My girlfriend and I visited Vancouver not too long ago on what we called our Pacific Northwest Whirlwind Tour. We visited Portland, Seattle, and uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. And Vancouver was probably my favorite uh, Portland being my next favorite, Seattle being my last bottomist of the three. We had a really good time in Seattle, but I didn't like the city itself that much. We just went on some really fun tours, had some really good food, saw some really cool stuff. There's there's cool stuff in Seattle, but uh, the, there's, there's a lot of bad stuff in Seattle, too. Homeless people and unsafe feeling neighborhoods and stuff like that. I felt a lot safer in Portland, which I thought was weird because Portland has been in the news for gang violence a lot lately and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I don't know, I had a 
I, I, I enjoyed all three cities a lot more than I enjoy my hometown of Los Angeles these days. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try really hard not to miss my exit because the last, I lived in Santa Barbara for four years, okay? And every single time I try to get off the freeway in downtown, like no matter what, and I'm good with directions. Like I'll look at directions to get somewhere on Google Maps, I'll just look down the instructions and I'll look at the map, I'll give it one good once over, and I'm good, like I can find my way anywhere. But for some reason, Santa Barbara screws me every time. Anytime I need to go somewhere in downtown Santa Barbara, I'll get off the wrong freeway exit, I'll get turned around on one-way 